Hi everyone. Sorry I'm not wearing any makeup in this video. Um, I'm working on becoming more confident without makeup, so this is, um, I just haven't been really wearing any lately, or wearing less anyway. So pardon my naked face, but this is a video all about nipple piercings because a lot of people um, always come on my videos asking about my nipple piercings, saying that there's really not a lot of videos out there talking about them. So I figured I would talk about mine. So I'll start by saying I got them pierced when I was 17. So I was underage, and although it was um, a licensed piercer, he did do it illegally technically. Um, although I had my parents' permission, they weren't there. And um, it was at a shop, but it, obviously they weren't that reputable if they're piercing an underage girl's nipples. But, um, you know, that was several years ago. So, you know, can't change that now. So I got them pierced at you know, a 14 gauge, which is um, the standard, like, nipple size. Some some places do it at 16, but that's more prone to migration or rejection. So anyway, I got them pierced, and the bars were a little bit longer than my nipples. Um, I'm obviously not going to include any pictures or anything because um, it's a piercing for me, <laughs> not for you guys to see. Um, so the balls were kind of large and they were like, they weren't super long. The bars aren't supposed to be extremely long, but they should have, you know, like a few millimeters on each side of the nipple. And the way I cleaned it was um, sea salt soaks. I do that like once a day um, or twice a day. And when I was in the shower or whatever, I used like a really gentle foamy antibacterial soap or a piercing cleanser. Um, so I did that for, I it was a while ago, so I honestly can't remember how many months. Um, but it was probably two months-ish till um, I felt they were healed enough to change into shorter bars. So um, that's what I did. The pain level for me really wasn't that bad. Um, you know, they put the clamp on. It was more just uncomfortable having to expose yourself to a stranger rather than um, the pain. But, you know, they marked it. And... Um, it's supposed to be like right at the base of the nipple. I've seen a lot of females with nipple piercings that go through like the areola or the, or that's just like way too deep. It's supposed to just be like right at the base. Um, so he marked it and that was right. Everything was straight and he he just kind of sucked the needle through and it, it was a really sharp pain. It was, um, didn't feel good, you know what I mean? But it wasn't so, you know, incredibly terrible. I just kind of was like, you know what I mean? Every everyone's healing time is different. You have to like talk to your piercer, see what they recommend for the healing time because I'm not a professional, but my piercings heal pretty quickly. But I can almost always tell when they're ready to be changed. Um, if you're unsure, then go back to your piercer and have them change it um, if it's ready. Um, a lot of piercers tell you not to wear a bra. Uh, I did wear bras, but I didn't wear like super tight ones. Um, there was some blood and like crust for the first um, week or so, so a lot of my bras have like, you know, blood stains on them and it's really not, not cute. So <laughs> you, you should be careful. I would recommend getting like a soft, um, bra that you don't care about to wear for like while it's healing, but try not to wear a bra if you don't have to. The only thing is if you don't wear a bra, then your clothes might get stained. So I would recommend getting a bra that you really don't care about, being that you're a female watching this because... Uh, man, male nipple piercings are a little different than female nipple piercings, but, um, so yeah, that's what I would do because some of my bras are permanently stained and it's really gross, so I don't wear them. <laughs> Here, I'm 20 now, I still have them. They still act up if they get, like, caught every once in a while, but then I just do sea salt soaks and that's about it. Um, if you have any other questions, ask them below, and thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. I'm not really sure what you guys wanted to know, but I made the video anyway. Thank you. Bye.